Star Trek is fixing a canon problem using time. Travel. In Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, as Khan reappears and gets ready to unleash his fury, he reminds Chekhov of how he first appeared in the episode Space Seed, claiming, the Enterprise picked up the Botany Bay. Lost in space from the year 1996. And, as Spock noted in Space Seed, in 1993, a group of these young supermen, Khan and his people, did seize power simultaneously in over 40 nations. However, according to Strange New Worlds, Khan was a young child in the 2020s, indicating that his ascent to power didn't occur until much later. Don't panic, but the Star Trek episode Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is revising a complex part of the franchise's history. Although it doesn't actually affect anything, gives Star Trek a fresh strategy. Beware of spoilers. The 23rd century descendant of Khan, Lan Nunian Singh, Christina Chung, finds herself at the episode's climax having to stop a time-traveling Romulan agent, Adelaide Kane, from killing Khan, Desmond Savan, as a kid and altering the Federation's history. The Rebirth of Humanity And initial contact with the Vulcans in 2063 would not have been possible without the eugenics. Wars that Khan started and the subsequent dark days for Earth. But how is Khan still a small boy in a covert Toronto facility in the year 2020 if he departed Earth in 1996? The Star Trek Time War and Strange New Worlds. The solution, which essentially involves a lot of time travel, putting Khan's ascent back by three decades, is provided by the Romulan agent Sarah, who is dissatisfied with humanity. She says. She'd been trapped here for 30 years. She also notes that Khan is the subject of entire temporal warfare. Although the concept of Temporal warfare happening in the background of Trek has been for a while, Voyager and Enterprise were the shows that most strongly established the concept. In Enterprise, Daniels, a character who helps Captain Archer in the 2150s, makes the suggestion that there are multiple groups engaged in centuries-long temporal battles. Discovery Season 2 revealed that the Federation and Klingon were engaged in a race to achieve time travel because the Federation was concerned that the Klingon would alter the course of history. Additionally, it was established in Discovery Season 3 that time travel is forbidden in the 32nd century. Although Sarah S. Century is unknown, the original series-inspired style of the Romulan ship in her picture suggests that she, like Lon and Kirk, is from the 23rd century. In any case, her speech demonstrates that more than one time travel intrusion has prevented Khan from ascending to power in Earth's past. Season 2 of Picard The creator of the Picard television series, Terry Metalas, stated that it's plausible that Spock's records in Space Seed were simply inaccurate back in 2022, when Jean-Luc and the gang we're hanging out in 2024. That WW3 had several EMP bursts that resulted in people being set. Back decades, that records were wrong. In Space Seed, Spock says that the Botany Bay, Khan's ship, is completely undocumented. It makes sense that the Matala's explanation didn't require the timeline to shift, but rather that Khan and Spock's understanding of the 90s was off. How well do you recall every detail of events from several centuries ago? Beyond inaccurate record-keeping, Strange New Worlds claims that the numerous temporal wars from Enterprise and other treks have had an impact on the Prime. Now that Khan takes control later than before. The issue is resolved. Strange New Worlds Timeline Pike explains to the inhabitants of Kylie 279 the circumstances that brought about World War III. On Earth in the first episode of Strange New Worlds, Pike suggests in his speech that the eugenics wars ultimately became known as World War III, which lampooned the canon rather than altering it. Even though initial contact with the Vulcans occurred in 2063, 
we learned in TMG's pilot, Encounter at Farpoint, that some areas of Earth were still barbarous in 2079. But in Picard Season 2, 2024, Los Angeles resembles today's city in many ways. In other words, the Trek canon has always been open-minded about how it depicts this time period. The timeline of the Star Trek world will need to be changed once again if the franchise is still active in 2063. But now that Khan's narrative has advanced, any remaining discrepancies in canon could only be explained by the effects of time travel. And when you consider how frequently the different Trek crews have traveled through time, it's a marvel that the canon makes any sense at all.